Top story this hour. Parliament has confirmed that both the EFF and COPE MPs will take part in the debate of President Jacob Zuma's State of the Nation address today, despite disrupting the President's address last week. Members of the two parties were ordered by the presiding officer to leave the chamber after continuously disrupting the address. Political parties will debate the State of the Nation address uh, on Tuesday, which is uh, today and Wednesday, and President Zuma will then respond on Thursday. Now, with all the parties expected to be present, the ANC says it should be a lively and robust debate. President Jacob Zuma is expected to respond to the two-day debate on Thursday. Questions expected uh, to range from South Africa's low economic prospects to the state of higher education to government's response to the drought. Now, the state of South Africa's economy is expected to dominate Parliament's proceedings today when the members of Parliament will debate President Jacob Zuma's speech delivered last week. The State of the Nation address, uh, as you know, was repeatedly interrupted last Thursday, resulting in members of the Economic Freedom Fighters and the Congress of the People cope walking out. Two days have been now set aside this week for MPs to debate Zuma's plans to tackle the country's sluggish growth and to cut wasteful government spending. It is expected that South Africa would not achieve a growth target of 5% per year and face the risk of being downgraded by international ratings agencies. President Zuma is expected to reply on Thursday. Now, SABC's presidential correspondent, Mzwandile Mbeja, now joins us in studio to tell us a little bit more about that. A very good morning to you, Mzwai, and welcome. Uh, good morning to you, Elvis. Now, from what happened last week, Thursday, at the State of the Nation address, uh, what do you think we can expect uh, today? Is it going to be fireworks? Indeed, we expect the kind of response uh, from the political parties who will now have the opportunity to say all that they wanted to say when the president was speaking. So we expect them to raise all sorts of issues. Mm -hmm. uh, you've correctly said um, the speech of the president, I would say 75 to 80% of it dominated on the economy. Um, but I can tell you, um, as much as the political parties will reflect on that, I think this is an opportunity for them to raise, raise their own issues. We've heard, for example, from the official opposition, they may raise the issue of the impeachment. Um, you remember when Legoda was uh, told to leave the House, he had said um, he couldn't listen to the president because, in his view, the president has broken, he had broken the oath of office. Mm -hmm. And the EFF, they kept on interrupting the president. So... Now, they will have the opportunity now to tell us what is it really that worried them so much. So they would uh, be on the podium uh, and fettered with all the opportunity to say, mm -hmm. um, after the president delivered his State of the Nation address, this is what we want to see happen. Mm -hmm. So I, I, I would not be surprised if some of the parties would then say, this is the real State of the Nation address mm -hmm. from their point of view. But what we really expect is that they should debate uh, the issues that have been raised by the president, because those are the issues that really affect everyone. Mm -hmm. Now, the issues that the EFF wanted to raise, one of them was that they wanted the, the, the state president to open up with an announcement on why he actually fired the finance minister last year. Uh, will that be part and parcel of this discussion or not? It's possible that uh, they would raise that issue, but um, I'm not sure uh, to... What, what really, what, what sort of purpose it will serve now, because mm -hmm. I think it's, it's done and dusted. And uh, I'm sure as part of their strategy, they would probably want to raise it. Mm -hmm. But uh, as I'm saying, we expect them to, 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 to really deal with the issues that have been raised. You know, one of the issues that has tended to be very contentious is the possible scrapping of one capital. Mm -hmm. um, so that we, ha oh, we have two, capit two capitals to, mm -hmm. to, to match them, possibly moving Cape Town to Pretoria. Mm -hmm. But um, mm -hmm. I think one of the issues that we can see really uh, coming up very strongly, and then I think EFF, mm -hmm. in my view, I think, I think they support that move. That but I can, I can tell you yeah. the, the, the DA will probably be mm -hmm. opposed to it, and I think some other parties as well mm -hmm. will be opposed to it because it's, it, it does seem like a, a very emotive issue.
The economy is going to take center stage. There was a lot of uh, cost-cutting measures announced by the president last week. Uh, we might see this coming up. Uh, but there's also the very contentious issue about the state-owned enterprises. Will that be raised as well today in terms of maybe uh, either selling it off uh, to uh, private co private owned companies? You know, this will be a great opportunity for the political parties uh, to really... Because, you know, when they debate, um, it's not just about debating. They also offer the solutions and the ideas and the suggestions. Mm -hmm. um, part of it, I think um, some parties would really say uh, we need to, to sell off some of these assets mm -hmm. so that we can cut on expenditure. Mm -hmm. um, and, 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 and various other ideas that will really be raised by various political ideas is mm -hmm. what uh, then will inform the debate. Mm -hmm. And I can tell you, based on the nature of arguments and debates that will be presented, mm -hmm. and then the president will then... Uh, have the opportunity to really respond to those issues, uh, the issues really that are substantive. Mm -hmm. uh, but bear in mind, uh, there may be substantive issues, but there will be a lot of theatrics. Mm -hmm. um, we know we've gotten accustomed to how our parliament mm -hmm. operates of late. Let's take a look at those particular rules, because how many questions are allowed by each uh, party to ask the president, and, and, and how much time are they given? So in this instance, this, this is what happens. The 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 the, 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 the presentation is proportional it's according to uh, the number of seats they have mm -hmm. so what you are going to have obviously is the ANC uh, giving its part as the as the majority party in the house and then you'd have the official opposition so it's really up to them on how they divide uh, the time but uh, as i'm saying it's, it's proportional mm -hmm. according to what seat you have so i know that I, I i can tell you that the DA would have um, a lot of uh, a lot of time and then the ff given that is the third biggest will also have a, a significant amount of time uh, to deliberate on these issues while the anc being the the majority part will always have the lounge share of everything that's happening and in terms of the rules so if they are unruly would they be ejected from parliament you know today uh, it's the it, 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 i think it's their show today mm -hmm. so to speak it's their show today so i don't think i don't see them unruly because mm -hmm. why are you unruly because you will be given the opportunity to get onto the podium mm -hmm. say exactly what you want to say so i don't think you then get on, on onto the podium and disrupt yourself mm -hmm. zondile thank you so much for giving us that report uh, thank That's you very much zondile Mbeche, our presidential correspondent here in studio with us